Hey everyone, Eamon here, back with another NRL reaction. We're going to be checking out Game 3, State Origin Women's Side. Um, yeah, first two games are pretty pretty awesome. Um, trying to remember what happened in Game 2. Was it wasn't Game 2, the Maroons kind of didn't play well, but they managed to squeak out the win, I think. It might have been raining, if I remember correctly. Um, game 1, though, Game 1 was sick. Um, yeah, the Blues pretty much spanked them. Chapman was, like, amazing. Um, and who was the other one? Was it Apps? No. Was it Apps? I forget. Anyways, yeah, it, it, two, it was two really good games. Um, so yeah, we're excited for game three here, um, especially just coming off of watching uh, uh, the men's origin game two, which was, yeah, not not the, it's an all right game, but it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't great. Um, anyways, yeah, so we're going to be checking the extended highlights out. Uh, don't really know who I want to cheer for. Um, yeah, I just want a good game, I think. That's about it. Don't really, don't really have a preference. I do like blue jerseys more, though, so maybe they go for the blues, but yeah, not a huge deal. I mean, yeah, we got we got Rose in the background. I'll try to keep her in frame when I, when I can, but yeah. And uh, make sure to drop a sub, drop a like, comment your thoughts on the game. Um, and yeah, who should I be looking out for in the in the women's NRL? Because that's going to be starting up soon, right? Should, should be soon? Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably try. I'll try to check out some, some uh, at women's NRL as we uh, as as it goes. But yeah, we'll we'll see. All right, let's hop into it. Just for either side, but how good to see two of the stalwarts of our game, Ali Brigginshaw and Kezi Apps, both in action. Yep. They're taking Brigginshaw and Apps, yeah. Match. One of the other veterans of the women's yeah, game is Corbin Baxter, the five eight for the Sky Blues, and she's standing by with Alana Ferguson. And they'll be looking to repeat the dice tonight as the Blues make their way out on the Queensland Country Bank Stadium. Queensland Country Bank Stadium. What is a Cowboy Stadium? Okay. She is. A parochial Queensland crowd. At this ground, the Blues have fond memories on. Remember, last year they won game two here, but not by enough. We were worrying about aggregates and all of that last year. Not anymore. A three-game series. Oh, okay. interesting. Last year wasn't a full three game. For the decider is Queensland. Let's go. This is another reception. Okay, more of a Queensland crowd than it sounds like. Rachel Pearson puts boot to ball at the side of the beginning and oh, crazy bounce off the start. As the rain comes down, Queensland. Oh, it is raining. Okay, I couldn't, I couldn't tell. From the New South Wales line, Aiken gets a pass away. Oh. Police straight through. Straight through, bang. She hit it. Yeah. Nice. There's an early one for the Maroons. Well, put your hands together for Taryn Aiken. She had the line <laughs> Taryn set up Aiken. brilliantly, footy in two hands, and she did what she does so well, very light on her feet, to what the defence does here. You can see on the Harvey Norman replay. God, that's a brilliant no-look pass. Politi, one of the best ball runners in the game. A lovely little angle in the back of the inside yeah, let's shoulder. See this. Just have a look at Taryn Aiken. Just make sure that she lines up, Corbin backs up, Jess Sergis on her nice. feet, it only took that split Caught her in stride. And a, and a brilliant angle from Politi. Well, she beat the defence with her eyes, took the fake. Lauren Brown converts. Nice, easy kick. Terrific boot. She's going for the sideline, I'll put the mock on her, it's gone. Okay, okay. That's a mistake, right? Out on the full, which means oh, yeah. a penalty 10 metres out. Yeah, that's a freebie, come on. Lauren Brown, from right in front, makes it 8-0. Mm -hmm. Jeez, okay, not a good start for the Blues. They sure do. Uh, the last couple of sets, they've given away some silly penalties, so they just need to calm down here and start building some pressure. They're in great field position. They're 9, 7, 6, and 1 need to combine. Tytsil playing it. Ooh. Here's Wheel. Just on Robbie Tytsil. Uh, Townsville girl, so she'll be loving this. A big game in her hometown. Brown. Oh, big stuff. Kent with the tackle. Up in the dummy half. Inside the 20 go Queensland. Aiken. Wrapping up. Wrapped up. Pearson and Apps in the tackle there for New South Wales. Big moments. Late in the first half for Queensland. Aiken. That's a couple of runners go. 
Links up with Brigginshaw. Takes line on herself. No holes there. Oh, Brigginshaw. big tackle. Nice. Forced back by some strong defense from New South Wales. All right. It's 35 minute halves, right? Brown. Aiken. Oh, little kick. Oh, man. That's a screw up by, by the Blues. Damn. Big, big try to end the, end the half here. She's a crafty player, Taryn Aiken. And this is all you got to do. Yeah, that was a sick little kick. Put the ball in the right places and allow the errors to happen. Yeah. Very calmly. Just rolls towards the line, puts a little dig in. Yeah, they are, they outnumber them too a bit, right? Yeah. Harvey Norman replay. Watch this. Beautifully done. Doesn't try to kick too far, just kicks it to the try line. Oh, went off her foot. Oh, that's brutal. Damn. Blue's got a big comeback here. I think I win this. No, I went off both their feet. Jeez. Yeah, that's like, yeah, that's unlucky. Ooh, that's a tough one. Nice. Wow, what a kick. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me to get one more at the half. Oh, my God. Queensland knock on to end the half. Right, okay, geez, 14 0 at the half. Not good for the Blues at all. Where's Chapman at? I haven't seen her once in the silent package. Alrighty, here we go. Second half coming right up. So let's hand it back to our commentary team, Lana Ferguson, Phil Gould, and Peter Basaltis. Thank you, Emma. 35 minutes to decide. Who will be. You to get it away early. It's all class from Ali Brigginshaw, and they're set up with that momentum again. Jeez. They are. That 40 30, by the way. Another thousand dollars for Gotcha for Life, and here's a penalty. Ball helped out there by Keely Davis. I didn't see. Oh, jeez. Another, another. I didn't see it happen there. Yeah, that should be. Yeah, geez. 16 0. Not looking good at all for the Blues. Over the top, Davis down low for New South Wales. Danger signs here. Brown. Oh, Man, absolute blow. Have we seen the Blues with the ball yet? I feel like I haven't seen him have the ball yet. It's obviously a highlight reel, so. Oh, no try. No try? Bobbled it? See. You could just feel something was about to happen. New South Wales were very open in defence. Oh yeah, she, yeah, she, she, she dropped it. it. Okay, okay. She's lost it. There's hope. I have a decision. One look, Casey. Oh, a ton of hope, but yeah, you know, like with the like twenty minutes left, yeah, twenty well, that minutes left. That's not enough time. New South Wales. They had Taryn Aiken on the left edge. She had three options if she was to get the footy in her hand off the dummy half. Oh, here you go, boys. Here you go. There's, there's Chapman. Oh, she dropped it. She, she it slipped out of her hands, I think, when she tried to throw it down. They're going to go and check it. Let's see. Defense here from the Queenslanders. But when you're running sideways near sideways, it's in wet conditions. It's very hard yeah, it's to hold so your footing. And there's just enough oh, look at the D there. Over the sideline. Oh, she tried. Damn. Yeah, what a play. Huge defensive play. That might be the game right there. If they're not scoring Brilliant it. Defense from Queensland. But again. Oh, there's still time. There's still time. Okay. Oh. oh, only dropped it again. Again. That was a sick, sick pass right there. Big offload. But the, oh, the, the defender, the defender, yeah, the defender got it. That's crazy. All right, yeah, this is over. This is over. Queensland. Seen her score plenty of tries like that in NRLW over the years. Brown. Yeah, Upton. Lovely ball, Aiken. Oh, Chapman. Go, go, go. Oh, she's gone. She's gone. Oh. 
Jeez. What a play. Okay. There's time. Not a lot of time, but there's time. That's a superstar play right there. Holy. Yeah, she, she's she's really good. Holy smokes. Yeah, huge interception and just goes the full way. Well, that actually, yeah, that was kind of just a brutal pass. She was like right there. Look at her speed though. A little f stiff arm there. And then gets away from the ankle tap. That's sick. That's an awesome. That's an awesome play. Okay, is that going to spark a comeback though? There's only 10 minutes left, right? Yeah. She was nearly held up three times. Big smile on the face. <laughs> Ten minutes left to go. Oh, it's, I, it, to it's like absolutely insanely poor. Yeah, That's crazy. The nice. Okay. Ten points. Yeah. No. Not no time. They frustrated the Blues into a lot of errors and a lot of ill-discipline. Yeah, they got four minutes left. Yes. Yeah. Damn. Run out of energy either. Bouncing around the Queensland. Leonard Dutzi. 24 away from the line. Now Aiken to Rapina. And Rapina's wrapped up. Nine away from the line. Aiken. Upton. To Mika Upton. Ooh, good steps. Couple of meters away from the line. Here's the last. Brigham Shaw. There'll be no risky kicks here. That's for sure. Oh, good. She got it. I think. Was there a knock on there? Might have been a knock on. I don't think so. I think she got it. She got it. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's for sure a game now. Yeah, let's see. Did she drop it the last second? I thought, I thought she might have bobbled it, right? Uh, no, 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 she had it. She had it. Played to the conditions, played to the occasion, and frustrated the Blues out of it. Brown GG. The clock winds down. 22 6. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Jeez, okay, there you go. Cleans on Maroons. 22 6. Came down from came down from 1 0 in the series, too. From what I understand, I think you guys have said it's, it's pretty un, un, unusual for teams to lose the first one and then win the next two, so that's a big accomplishment there. All right. What's this? Women's State of Origin game. Why is this at the end of the... That's where this is at the end of the thing. Um, okay, anyway, so yeah, we, we have started doing... At the end at the end of our videos, I've been trying to look at the comments more after, after reacting to them, so let's check out the comments here. Um... Actually, let's look at the uh, the, the straight-up highlight comments. There we go. This is the one. This one usually has more views. Let's look at the highlights. Here are the comments here. What a game. NSW dominant games 1 and 2, yet somehow QLD 1 second. Yeah, yeah, that's what I remember. That's what I remember from game 2. And then, yeah, big, huge performance. Queensland's dominant game 3. This is, what, this is what will happen in the men's decider as well. Queensland going to win. We'll see. We'll see. Icon's so good. Maroons never say die. What a nail-biter. Better than the men's game, yeah, yeah. For yeah, this game is a lot better than yeah the men's game two. Or actually, both men's game one and two are both kind of like, yeah, they're both over pretty quickly. So yeah, not too great. Yeah, uh, I get, I do want to check out the uh, NRL. Actually, I don't want to spoil myself on the on the draw. Let's see, women's state of origin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out the possession and stuff because it seemed insane. Uh, actually, no, it wasn't that bad. 56 44 23 18 in possession okay i think it was just yeah i guess the the sky bulls just didn't do a ton with their uh with their their possession so we didn't see them in the highlights very much but yeah yeah good stuff all right all right oh there's rose is still uh having an old nap all right yeah so that was my reaction to game three women's nrl state origin um yeah exciting exciting game um, I thought the Blues might like, yeah, that Chapman try was insane. I thought that might spark a comeback, but yeah, they, yeah, I guess they couldn't get anything going after that. Um, yeah, no, it was good. It was good though.
definitely like overall these three games have been better than the two men's games for sure um yeah the, the men's games have been kind of just yeah they're both games were just like weird like the games are over pretty quickly so it's better, better to see these games where they're actually like tight and like mean something I, I guess not mean something but yeah they're like the whole game is worth watching sort of type type deal um but yeah so who do, who do i who are standouts for me um i guess yeah lauren brown she was like hitting all her kicks so that that was good to see um what was the other player on what was her name Brigginshaw and aiken aiken that's who it was aiken made a ton of plays in that game in, in that pack package for sure um i didn't really who is there's one girl that was um was it rapina Oh, I think it was Rapina. Yeah, she she was she was making some crazy plays, just busting through the defense, which is always good. And then yeah, for the, for the for the blue side, the only player that really stood out to me, like in this game at least, was Chapman. Obviously, you guys have yeah, you guys have all said she's pretty much like a star of the game at the moment. She's she's pretty young too, so she'll be probably playing these for a long time. Um, yeah, yeah, good stuff. Um, I guess what's next for yeah, we got Origin Game 3. I'll be doing Watch Party for Men's Origin Game 3. Um, and then, yeah, I think you guys said the, the NRL Women's start up soon. Um, let me check. Tesla Women's Round 1. Yeah. Or no, next month. Okay, yeah. Women's Origin start... Or not Women's Origin. Women's NRL starts uh, late July. So I'll probably try to... Um, yeah, we can probably do that. I can probably do the same type of content I'm doing for, for the NRL for the women. So I can do like a weekly, the weekly roundup thing reaction. I'll probably do that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll try to do something like that we'll either do that or we'll, or we'll just pick, like, I'll get you guys to tell me which game is the best game of the week and do like a extended highlight reaction. One of those two, uh, for sure. Cause yeah, we definitely got to keep up the content for, uh, for both sides. Um, yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. We're wrapped up there. Thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a sub, like the video, comment your thoughts. Uh, let me know if there's any players that I should keep an eye on that maybe weren't on this, or weren't in Origin that are going to be in the NRLW. Um, some players not from Australia, I guess, would probably be the main ones, but maybe some players got snubbed. I don't know. Uh, let me know for sure. Um, yeah, we're wrapped up there. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you, yeah, see you guys in the next one.